Good morning and welcome to the Killick & Co market update. Markets had a small wobble in the middle of this week as investors grew concerned about the rising levels of coronavirus cases across India and Europe. However, markets, especially in the US, remain fairly close to record highs and furthermore we are starting to see levels of volatility falling back below pre-coronavirus levels. We can measure this volatility by looking at the VIX index, otherwise known as the fear index. The VIX measures the prices of options that are due to expire in the next 30 days, and therefore it gives an indication of expected volatility over the next 30 days. When the VIX rises above a level of 30, this is generally associated with a period of higher uncertainty or higher levels of fear. When the VIX is below 20 for an extended period of time, that's generally associated with a period of market stability. So let's have a look at the VIX over the last two years. As you can see, for much of 2019, the index was below that 20 level. And then it had a huge spike in March 2020, and then it had several further spikes above the 30 level throughout the rest of 2020. However, for most of this particular month, the index has been below that 20 level, although it has started to inch a little bit higher recently, so we'll just have to wait and see where it goes from here. Nestle published results for the first quarter this week, which came in significantly ahead of expectations. Nestle is the world's biggest food and drinks company with a market cap of over 300 billion Swiss francs. For the first quarter, it achieved organic revenue growth of 7.7% and it brought in revenue of over 21 billion Swiss francs. There were a couple of standout areas for Nestle, including pet care and coffee, especially Nespresso. Petcare brought in revenue of 3.6 billion Swiss francs and that was up 8.7% compared to the first quarter of the previous year and Nespresso brought in 1.6 billion Swiss francs and that was up 17.1% in comparison to the previous year. So clearly Nestle has been a beneficiary of some of these big lockdown trends including getting a new pet and drinking lots of coffee at home. Here's the five-year share price chart for Nestle. As you can see, there was a bit of weakness in the price earlier this year, and that coincided with the sell-off that we saw in bond markets. Nestle is part of the consumer staples sector, and sometimes these big consumer staples names are treated in a similar way to bonds, because they're seen as low risk and they have relatively stable cash flows. So when the bond market sold off, we did see that some of these big consumer staples names were caught up in that sell-off. However, the Nestle share price has since recovered, and this week's results show that Nestle is not a low-risk, low-growth, bond-like investment. The US hosted a two-day climate summit this week in which it pledged to reduce its carbon emissions by 50% by the year 2030. China also pledged to reduce its emissions, although it has says that it expects its coal use to rise for the first half of this decade. Also this week, the International Energy Agency published some interesting data showing the change in carbon emissions on an annual basis since the year 1990. So here's the chart here. And what's quite interesting is the significant reduction in emissions in the year 2020. And that was mainly due to the fall in the use of oil because nobody was really allowed to travel anywhere. So on this chart, you've got coal in the blue, you've got oil in the purple and gas in the green. The International Energy Agency expects that emissions will rebound quite strongly this year because of the global economy reopening, and this really demonstrates the strong need that we have for lower carbon alternatives. Moving on to have a look at next week, it's reporting season, so it's looking very busy on the corporate calendar, but we have got results out from the largest companies on the stock exchange, Amazon, Microsoft and Alphabet. That's it from us. Enjoy the weekend, and we'll see you next Friday.